Uh, certainly. Do you have a place in mind? Oh, there are always a number of rooms that are open at this time. Hmm. Well, just tell me which room it is and I'll meet you there. All right, and he'll tell him one of the rooms that is, like... Uh, you can be like a private uh, study room. In yeah, the down, down in that general area. All right, so he'll kind of... And close it. You'll be mm-hmm. like, uh, you'll be like, uh, will this take long? Should I take a seat? Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's going to take long. And I do apologize if this seems rude, but you did seem, well, we did have quite the nice chat last time over business, and I'd like for this to be a combination just like then. I did mm-hmm. wish to pick your brain about something you'd mentioned before. I suppose I'll take a seat then. Thank you. Go ahead. A while ago, in class, you asked what we would do if we wanted to change our persona. Hmm. I believe I did just that. Yes. Well, I gave some answer that I intended not to give too much away, but now I'm thinking about that topic. Is it something you're well versed in, like you are in creation of artifacts? Hmm. Well, I believe I've mentioned this to your classmate, uh, Miss Himmera, but uh, I, uh, my my knowledge isn't entirely my own. I'm simply the benefactor of it. I was given the uh, I was given the good graces of being apprenticed to a masterful mythopoetic, hmm. and so his knowledge became my own. Ah, how fortuitous! Hmm. Well, it comes with its benefits, and it's, uh, well, most people would see it as objective, but really it's up to your viewpoint. Mm, right, right. Well, I do find myself curious about the topic, and, well, I'm not quite so... Himmera, you say? Well, I believe you can Mm. see why I wouldn't know about that. This is, I imagine, quite personal. After all, it is, I believe, one of the closest bonds you can have. The demon does live inside your head. Right. Right. Uh, It can be quite invasive, but that opening of your person is what led you to see all this to begin with. It's uh, somewhat of an unfortunate uh, turn of events. It can be quite traumatic. Hmm. Right. And you see, while I'm still debating, I do find that as time goes on, me and Shax are having issues in that, well, he is quite the playful trickster. He does like to... I'm just going to rejoin the call quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a moment. You're, you're kind of cutty. He's Welcome quite back. a playful sister. Yeah. And he'll say, he likes to say things, and then... Mm, I don't know if he likes... No, I do believe that he does like me wondering what the meaning of that is. But at the end of the day, it is starting to get rather annoying. I see. Well, uh, well, you do know that he's a Marquis of Hell, do you not? Mm. I've done some minor research, but there wasn't really a lot of information on him. I do think he was a character in an old sitcom in America, though. Mm. Given your description... Description of him, I don't believe that's the current inspiration for him, but uh, given the obscurity of information, it might be why he formed a contract with you. He has some clout, but not as much as he might pertain to say. Do do forgive me if I offend you, but uh, from the sound of it, it seems like you had no part in your joining. Well, if you did have a part, it was very much of a subconscious level, almost akin to a shadow Mm. well I do not know how it goes for anyone else but I neither chose Shax nor do I remember when I made this contract with him 
Right. Not knowing what your contract is can be very troublesome, though. If you were to lose your persona, you wouldn't exactly know what changed about you. Hmm. Yes, I can imagine that would be troubling. Hmm. Hmm. But in a way, from what I've heard so far, losing your persona does tend to make you an entirely different person, in a way. You've lost, Hmm. well, a desire, a belief, something about yourself that was powerful enough to create a bond with a demon. Hmm. Well, I have... uh... I have met Mythopoetics who have lost their persona and the, and the effects vary depending on the strength of their contract. Uh, as you can imagine, most people forget what their contract is once they've lost it. But uh, I've had, it, in, in terms of people that are close to you, I've had two encounters, both with uh, Fujikaji and uh, Kazuhi Haya. Fujikaji, oh, okay. Oh? You have, I see. Hmm. With the letter, not so directly. She left quite the imprint when she landed in my domain. But uh, I suppose that is another story for another time. Mm. Yes, it does seem like quite the interesting tale, though. Maybe once all this is over and she doesn't care so much. About anything might possibly being leaked. Hmm. Hmm. But you wish to, f- you wish to, uh, you wish to find out more about your connection with Sax rather than the demon itself. Hmm. Finding out about the demon itself would be something. At the moment, he knows quite a bit about me, and I know nothing about him. Uh Finding out about the connection, I suppose that could be helpful. And as I mentioned, I'm curious about the possibility of, though it might sound cold, simply getting a new one. I'll be completely honest, at the end of the day, I do not think Shax truly cares that I'm his mythopoetic so much as someone is. Uh, Very much fitting for a demon of hell, at least. What? I I got through all of that. All right. You missed all of it? Yeah, I just went yeah. robotic for this bit. God damn it. Uh, he's like, yes, finding out more about Shax would be nice. Uh, oh, oh. There we go. Hold on, my, my computer is going fucked up. Oh. Give me a moment. Okay. Shax is preventing you from getting this conversation out, apparently. No. Oh man. Shax has fucking fourth wall breaking SFX like fucking death wall <laughs> and he's dedosing. <laughs> Just No <laughs> No my 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 you know when this it when the window switches from aero to like normal mode? Yeah. yeah. It did that. Ah. So <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was like, whoa. You shouldn't tab out of flash games. <laughs> Oh, I can't see the map anymore, but... No. But, uh, you were saying about what? I was saying about that, yes, finding out more about Shax would be nice, because he knows a lot about me, and I don't know anything about him. Finding out about the connection would also be nice, and as I mentioned, I was curious about the possibility of simply getting a new one. Very much like I would expect from a demon from hell, I don't think Shax so much cares that I'm his mythopoetic as anyone is. Mm, I think I've been, uh, from my talks with Hamato, I think I might be piecing together something. Mm. So, uh, if, uh, from my talks with Hamato and uh, Himura, they very much discovered their, their mythological side when they talked to the being known as Shin. Mm. Is that the same for you? Mm. Mm. I don't know how soon after I talked to Shin, but yes, it was after I had a first encounter with him, although it was about two months after that. Do you remember anything about that first encounter, how it went, the circumstances leading up to it? Mm. Let me think. 
No, I had just prepared myself to take the test to see if I could be accepted into Mariah Academy. And then I... I do remember performing fairly well. And then he was there, and while it was quite confusing, I don't mean to offend anyone, I gave him the time of day about it. I assumed he was a bit more high up in the station than he actually was. Mm. Mm, I see. I see. Mm. Somewhat of a uh, almost oddly rational response, considering something that seemed, uh, well, not quite rational. Well, if I were to abandon rationality, Fumasan, I would have nothing left to cling to. Hmm. There's more than that facet to you, but uh, anyway, so that would lead me to believe that you and Takazi Hayu and Himura and Mato, they, they all, you all share the same patron of Shin. Yeah. That might explain how... You got your personas so haphazardly, though for some people it seems more fortuitous than others. Mm. More fortuitous? Mm. If, uh, judging from the information that you've given me as part of a membership of March, it seems in terms of ancestry at least, uh, Homato at least got a persona that was related to his ancestry. Ah, I see. Well... Yes, he did get a persona that was... What was it? Ipon Datrida. One of the dead gods from the mountains, right? Hmm, yes. Mm. Yeah, shame. I miss having him about the dorm. I liked the smell of metal. Although there is quite the the oddity that uh, in that for a for a a bookish, a bookish fellow who's not much for physical activity, he'd have a persona that was very much into physical activity. Mm. So, I guess the spread of randomness is uh, is determined differently, but still, there must be a connection between you and Sax that maybe that he is aware of and you're not quite of. Uh, has he been suggesting anything to you lately of a, simi- of a fim- similar theme? <sighs> Of a similar theme? Well, let's see. There's the usual talk about how I'm not paying appropriate attention to the lessons he's teaching. Even though he is not, he is simply throwing symbolism at me. There's the usual talk about how I am slow compared to others. About how I haven't yet grasped an olive branch that's been handed to me. Oh, he's a very patronizing demon. Mm. Right. Right, but maybe it's to to his advantage that you stay out of the loop. I mean, you've already expressed dissatisfaction with your parent. Anything (sighs) else to push that button might be disadvantageous for him. Well, yes, but anything he knows, he's not going to tell me. And to be quite honest, that is part of the annoyance. It is fairly... well... You might say that it is one of my buttons when the answers are readily available, but hidden behind an arbitrary wall. Right. Right. There's something to be said about uh, discovering things for yourself rather than to be told. It's very... uh, when When you're talking about somebody who comes from logic and reasoning and... And and a, and a process uh, when it comes to mythology, well, it throws that all out the window. It's more catered to the right side of the brain rather than the left. Well, if we had no one telling anything, I scarcely expect myths would take on in the first place, now would they? Hmm. Well, yes. Well, there's. I guess there's a there's a there's a certain way of telling them. There's through stories and traditions and song and dance, and then there's through propaganda and uh, doctrine. It depends on what your uh, personal flavour on uh, information spreading is. To be quite honest, I do have to question. While there is, of course, merit in discovering for yourself, most of that merit is self-satisfaction. If you need to know something... Isn't it best that you're able to find that information even if it involves someone else telling you? 
Well, that's certainly something. Uh, mm. Has anybody told you anything at all about your history? My history? No. Hmm. I see. Although I do have a promise that if I pursue a certain path, I'll be able to learn more. Right, right. So you don't know of any type of connections to mythological properties that might be through your nuclear family? If not nuclear, then the next possible thing. To be completely honest with you, Fuma-san, this is all still something that's three months new to me. And while I may be considering the possibility that there are, that I have suspicions at the moment, I'd be hesitant to say that I can firmly put my finger on anything. No, right. I don't know anything about that. And as I'm constantly told by Shax, well, I'm not very perceptive in the ways of magic. Right, I see. Do you see mm. what I mean? If I abandon ration reason, then I will not really have any way to make my way forward in this world. He'll just kind of uh, put his elbows on the table and uh, he'll just uh, he'll just kind of ponder and he'll be like, uh, has anything happened to you recently that caught you unaware? Like something that has sprung out of, out of nowhere. Maybe an encounter that went a bit too easily or something that seemed to slip from your tongue. Anything really that you didn't prepare or plan for happening. Mm. Something I didn't prepare for or plan for. Mm. No, not really. Although there have been a few things that have gone... In exactly opposite to the plans I had. Mm. Do, do you want to roll understanding or knowledge? I'd rather roll knowledge. Alright. Roll understanding. Alright. You remember you, you remember the time where you were trying to help clean up the hole in the cafeteria, right? Yeah. That would I be a good that. thing to mention. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, I suppose there was that time. I'm sure you're quite aware the wall is a bit hideous, but, well, when that situation happened, it was rather easy to persuade people to let it go and not jump in. Mm. But then, the more I thought about it, the more I figured it was just coincidence. And speaking to Kazehaya, well, she said I should just be happy with what happened. Hmm. But are you really just happy with what happened? No, of course not. If that were possible, I wouldn't have needed to have a talk with her about it. He'll just kind of sigh, and uh, he'll roll his understanding. Give me a moment. Of Yay. everything that you've told him so far. Yay. Uh, where's his page? And he'll use a he'll use a plot point to add his other die, his knowledge. Okay. True. Is your link at him at a three? I think it's I a plus. Don't know. I think it's at a plus one. I don't think you had a four yet. Foo, foo, foo. Uh, good day, you. Um, does no. not appear to be okay. He's a free. He'll just kind of be like, uh, hmm. I don't know if this information will please you or not, but there is something to you. Something to me. Hmm. Ah, very well. I can hear this. Um, I suppose I should give you more background into myself uh, when it comes to my own family history i'm a bit of a pariah well my 
I am assuming that you've heard at least a little bit about the ancient families that uh, roll within the that used to rule within the 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 cloisters. That uh, you know how an emperor how an emperor retires. They don't retire. They retire publicly, but in the but privately they still control the strings. So. You know, it's just going to kind of be like. Uh... Honestly, it's going to kind of wince a bit because of the last time he tried to do a family thing. Him and Katsume were at odds with each other, but he'll go, yes, I do believe it's been mentioned a few times by Mr. Dark. He does like investigating everything. Well, to give you some context, you know the current um, emperor is Emperor Akihito, right? Yes, of course I know about the emperor. And that the title of emperor is simply is simply to placate tradition rather than having any any sort of authority. We still have a government and the Japanese DA. It's a ceremonial title, yes. Well, yes, but uh, there are there are there are families behind that uh, that assume the role of the shadow emperor that I mentioned earlier while the government seems to be in control of uh, mundane life when it comes to myth when it comes to the mythological life there are seven families who tend to uh, to keep that lifeblood of japan flowing through the the ley line veins mm, i see so it is a conspiracy after all good to know i wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily call it a conspiracy. After all, they, we, nobody's really had any reason to question magic and whatnot. UFOs are still mostly made up in terms of uh, we made them up, but they're not exactly powerful myths, but uh, I divulge. The important thing is that, uh, well, you know a little bit of background as to how these families exist. And, well, my relationship to these families is that... Uh, I'm from I'm from a particular family where where our uh, heirloom power is uh, through our brute strength and ability to shape shift into our personas. And uh, as you can see, he'll just kind of wave he'll just kind of wave his gloved hands, and you'll see Onabi pop out. Uh, it would be quite tragic if I tried to shape for shift into Onabi. Hmm. I see. Huh. Well, I might have some questions. I'm willing to wait until the end of this. All right. The point is that I'm an outcast within my family. And after everything I've heard and, well, when I listen to my inner conscience and all that I've experienced so far, I believe we've been dealt the same hand. Dealt the same hand? Mm. I don't know what your origins quite are. But uh, I feel a kinship with you. Sorry to break you, <sighs> but I gotta go. All right. See you later, witch. Mm-hmm. Okay, see ya. Bye. <sighs> well, I do hope you'll forgive my skepticism at this point, but assuming you're correct, an assumption I'm willing to make at this point, hypothetically, how are you able to tell this? Or is it just an instinct? You'll be like, uh, hmm, do you remember when we spoke within our domain that, uh, well, I wasn't, I was, uh, well, well, you could see my hands in their true state. Yes, I do remember you, that. You'll say, uh, from my conversations, uh, I believe your group has been quite interested within ley lines and how they work. It does seem to be a topic of discussion at our dorm at the moment. When I mentioned that the gifts that I've been given by my masters may may be seen as a boon, they also come with uh, with quite the price to pay. I f- I very much feel I very much feel very personally and somewhat traumatically uh, mythological things, and uh, especially when it comes to. When it, especially when it comes to people that uh, that are related to me, even tangentially, and uh, I guess I feel that twang. Of course, we may not be related directly, but uh, I believe that uh, there is something there. I see. I see. 
Nero's going to be quiet for a moment, and uh, we'll say, and of course you must realize how discomforting this all must be to recently be given information that may, if it turns out to be accurate, turn your entire world upside down. Mm. Well, <sighs> who's your um, who's your closest living family member? Mm. That would be my uncle. Mm. Perhaps it's perhaps you should ask him, though. Mm. Though uh, you might want to phrase it in a way that if he isn't mythologically sensitive, that you won't be calling the mental asylum on you. Mm. I don't think he'd call the mental asylum anyways. As caring as he is, that would bring shame to his name. He'd much rather mm. find a more organic way to deal with it. Nothing cruel, mind you, just... Perhaps a home therapist. Right, I see. Uh, I believe. Uh, I believe uh, from my talks with uh, Miss Nakatomi as well. Your group also seems interested in uh, in f in the mapping of your blood. Mm. Yes, that was a curiosity I had with. Hmm. Those are the two options I can see for you right now. Mm. Fascinating. Ah, well, this was a lovely chat, but I do believe we've skitter-skirted around a number of topics. Ah. I apologize. Uh, I tend to be get carried away with these things. Oh no, it was quite enlightening at the very least. I enjoyed it, but going back, hmm, I would like to investigate these things we've talked about, but at the end of the day, ah, well, I find myself bereft of the same instincts that you and most other people seem to possess at this school. Mm. Mm. Perhaps... Perhaps instead of looking at your weaknesses, you should instead utilize your strengths. Ah, <sighs> that's what I've been trying to do this entire time, and I think I've managed to keep up. You mentioned it earlier that uh, you wish to pursue this avenue through knowledge rather than intuition. Hmm? <laughs> so meta. Get everyone's Deadpool. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean that in a metal way. I know, I know. <laughs> I know, it's just funny. It just That's why I said Teehee, not maliciously. It's a joking Teehee, Jess. Come on, me. Yes, that's true. But, well, knowledge isn't just created very easily. And there's an abundance of it out there. I'd hate to waste my energy, but honestly, I can't seem to find anywhere that this knowledge is pooled for me to access. Mm. Although I do suppose there is that Library and Jeffrey now. A few nights spent there wouldn't be bereft of my time. You did. You you mentioned yourself that uh, you were you were advised to look into your family history. I was advised to look into the blood mapping, which yes, I was told that would relate to my family history. And that is knowledge. <sighs> and to think you started this conversation saying, don't be told stuff, experience it for yourself. Well, well, unlike, uh, unlike Sax, uh, I won't, I won't elude you with mysteries. I very much think it's the best thing for you to do. Well, I do intend to pursue it, but, well... I'm also going to keep this active in a way. I don't like to let my hand go of these things. Mm. Mm. Very well. Um, I suppose if you're going to look into something, I suppose you might want to look into the families. Like I said, I felt something there. You might you might be related or you might have been like a servant to one of the members or something akin to that. <sighs> At least in a past time. 
Yes, that could be interesting. But, well, thank you for giving me that advice. But unfortunately, that's something I'll have to look into sparingly. There are other concerns that are pressing. Tests, other activities. Right, I understand. Uh, there's still there's still this life around us that needs to be lived. Yes, there's simply not enough time to realistically believe you can do everything. But certainly I am going to look into hmm, at least grounding myself in some of the things you've mentioned. Right. Right. At the end of the day, it's only a feeling that I have, and uh, sometimes those feelings lead into curses. To be completely honest, I don't put much stake in feelings. Mm. Right. Uh, I suppose uh, different tastes, different perspective, perspectives. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Well, thank you. Mm. Before you leave, I suppose I'll go back to the original topic. If you truly are dissatisfied with sex, well, I can't personally help you with removing or at least uh, transforming your persona, but my master could have, but uh, I don't know where he is, to be honest, and I've been looking for him. I Ah. told this to Miss Himmer as well. But uh, it seems that school life has got into her schedule as well. I see. Well, hmm. the more days go by, the more annoyed I am by him. So perhaps sometime soon. Eh, I suppose if I will only have him and my family for company over the holidays, eh, I may come back wishing for a new persona. So in that case, anything that I could do to expedite the process... Mm. Right, and at the end of the day, like you, like every persona takes on at least one trait from each contract that it makes. You have the power to influence that trait at the end of the day. Mm. Yes, I don't think he's been with me long enough for that to take effect. Mm. Mm, I suppose not. If it were, I do dare say he'd give at least one straight answer. <laughs> he'll just kind of chuckle and he'll be like, yeah. well, I hope that you'll choose whatever benefits you at the end of the day. Well, for the time being, no. I'll be choosing whatever benefits... Hmm. <sighs> well, I'll be choosing whatever benefits the most people at the end of the day. Mm. Mm. I suppose uh, I I suppose that sentiment will echo very loudly one day. Maybe. Ah, Anyways, thank you for the pleasant chat and uh, well, I do believe it's taken up quite a bit of time and I did not mean that, so... I was quite looking forward to enjoying this myself, but I would like to show you some favor that this wasn't just business. So, Ariel will, like, pull out the set of tea he got today. Do you enjoy? Mm, Certainly. Yeah. Excellent. Ah, As opposed to the previous few glasses, this one certainly seemed, well, I was looking forward to it. And he'll hand it to Gideon. Ah, is that the smell of, uh, what is it? I don't remember. Cardamom? Cardamom. Yeah, that one. Is it? The, is that the smell yeah. of cardamom? Uh, it reminds me of India itself. Hmm? Ah, yes, that is the flavour. Mm, quite pleasant and quite sweet as well. You won't need much sugar with this, if at all. Hmm. Well, glad to, uh, 
<sighs> Glad to see you. Enjoy it. And I guess they'll just spend the rest in silence. Mm-hmm. I mean, less formal chit-chat. All right. You spoke to Giddy, and you're going to ignore him. Okay. Going to ignore what? Said <laughs> chit chat, you fuck. No, as in like he said, look at the, the family thing, and Rio said no. I'm going to work. do it. No, he but said he would. He said he would. Oh. oh. Wow. Take away from that. I, that story came oh, out quite differently. That's what I mean. Oh, that's what I will means. Oh. Mm. The choice of like, I will might be in like in a year's time now. I will. Now what you're just I... trying to justify your misunderstanding. Yeah. Mm. You're a bully, Jess. No. Oh. It happens. Someone talk to get to you. Stop acting so upset. It's your dream. I All didn't right. understand what he meant, dude. He just meant he will. Yeah, he means I will. I mean, so we've been doing this for like five hours now. We're not going to fit in the rest of the day, so yeah. we have a, like a priority list of what we're going to do. So. Yeah, rough, sentry, costume, and I deeply really appreciate that we're finishing now because I'm almost, my fucking head is falling to a desk almost. So how do you want to do this? Well, I mean, I, I guess the, the big question is how much time do you have left? I mean, I can still play, but I'm just like on and off, but... I mean, we can mm. call it now and finish the day next week. It's up to you. I mean, I'm, cool, I'm cool with whenever. I'm thinking that we could finish after the Clag thing. Yeah, because the Shin Hair fun. thing will take a while. The talking to Suzuki will take a while. <laughs> Yeah. Sandman thing. Sandman and then the Sandman time. thing will take a while. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, you know. Go ahead. <laughs> Considering, you know, like, it's been five and a half hours nearly. Yeah. Yeah, something along the lines. Alright, so do you want to do the clag thing now? Are you up for it? I mean, I guess, yeah, if if it's easy, we can speed through it now and then just get it over with so that it doesn't bog us down next week. It's not so necessarily easy as that I've thought about it, so. Ah. <laughs> Why do you sound surprised? No, 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 it was not the <laughs> awe ah. of a surprise. It was the awe of, okay, yeah, that should be easier than yeah, basically no, off the cuff. Bullying. Yeah, I know, I'm just bullying you. Yeah. But we can skip through the whole Jeffrey part and just go straight to the domain then. Well, say hi, Jeffrey. Uh, Kira picks up bananas on the way there to give the monkeys on the way. And a snack right, the bananas will cost as much as normal bananas cost in dollars unless you want to buy it in Macca. She'll buy it in Macca. She'll buy some bananas and a snack to bring to Clag. Should I buy something too? That's nah, fine. I mean, I'm like the half host at this point. Do you want something to eat? Glinda will take two Macca from for Makira and buy something for herself. Hey, no, I bought it for you, Glenda. She's independent. I was just yeah. curious if maybe if it would help if I brought a gift or not. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm just doing it because, you know, they, you know it's just treat when I see them. All right. So bringing in a couple of doggy treats is probably a bad idea? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He might like them. And Glinda will be like, uh, he's a vegetarian. Oh, yeah. Wait, you think doggy treats aren't vegetarian? They're like biscuits. What do you think goes in them? Uh, like chemicals. Flour many, many chemicals. chemicals. What are we talking about? <sighs> <laughs> I'll bring him a fruit bowl. Mm. <laughs> cool. Ugh. Still weird watching you talk to cats. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's not just any cat, it's Glinda. She's a princess. Is she? Pointy, pointy princess. Of course she is. To me. Ah. I mean, All to right. be one eventually for marriage, probably. 
So I guess the music would be oh, in a event. Yeah, the Rocky, Rocky Sky. Mount Sky Garden, yeah. Yes. I got that. Okay. Flag! And uh, he'll be uh, he'll be in the, he'll be in the garden like uh, sitting down and staring at the pool. Kira will uh, bring over the bowl of snacks she brought for him and place it down next to him, and then sit down. Hey, buddy. Mm. He'll just kind of have like grass in his mouth. <clears throat> Doing some mantating. Ah, yes, I was. Uh... I was trying to see if I could, uh, if I could summon fists within this pool. And how's it going with that? Mm. Well, with your presence, it's a lot easier if I could form some. But I suppose it would be rude without your permission. Oh well, you know, Mikasa Sukasa, you can make yourself comfortable here. Go ahead. All right. So he'll just so some koi will just appear and then swim off. Ah. Oh. Oh, so you know you have some koi fish in your pool. Hmm. How are the rosebuds doing? They're spreading. They're they're sprouting pretty nicely. Lovely, lovely. It's nice in here. Anyway, it's like I brought a uh, visitor. I think we talked about him last time a bit. Right. Well, I guess he'll. I guess he'll turn around and he'll. Kira will be a translator for Clyde, won't she? All right. Like he was talking in dog before this. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Kira's just been woofing, I guess. I guess when he, well, I guess when he turns around, he'll just kind of like, well, you can't see his eyes, but he'll just kind of sit. He'll just kind of start like be still for a moment, mm. and then he'll just like lower his head to the ground. 